Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ayman and today's video is about iPhone 8 which has no display. This iPhone has been sent to me from a customer in Dubai. This customer uh, took his phone to a repair shop and they failed to fix it. That's why he sent it to us. Let's see together what is the problem and what the other shop did to the logic board. What I can see, I can see they apply uh, hot air on the connectors the connectors is melted little and some components are not uh, in place uh, and some components are placed but not 100% uh, correctly and uh, some missing components here there is a MOSFET it's related to battery information so the first thing I do when I have uh, such a problem, I take uh, resistance measurement for the connector and compare it to a uh, known good board or the ZXW or Woxing G dongle. If you're wondering where you buy this uh, tools, you will find all the tools I'm using in the description box below the video. I can see I have more than five or six traces with uh, no uh, resistance value and it should have that is not correct so maybe a component on uh, series is disconnected and maybe it's the chip itself is disconnected so let's go to zxw and measure again one by one so the first one is giving me a correct value second third the third one the pin number six is giving me uh, a value which should not give me a value it should be an ol so that's mean a short and this leg is connected to uh, these capacitors and uh, the uh, this resistor so this resistor value is 10 kilo ohm let me measure that one uh, okay so the other guy, he removed a 10k resistor and he put a solar ball. So you remove a 10k resistor and you put a 0k resistor instead. That's nice. So we should remove this one and put 10k resistor in this place. Okay, we'll put that later. Let's continue with the measurement. So pin number three, we will correct its value by putting the 10K resistor in this place. I noted in my mind and I will continue. This pin doesn't have a resistance value while it should be uh, 300 millivolts. So let me check here. No, let me check here. No, this is a capacitor. So let's check where is this pin is connected. 
it's this one should have a resistor here let's check if it's there or no and it's here but it's kind of broken yeah yeah this resistor need to be replaced okay i will put little flux here so i remember i didn't like it since i i have seen it So mark two. We need a resistor here. What value? It's a zero ohm resistor, so it's a jumper. I will put just a jumper. and check again the value should be 300 which one it's this one and yes it came back let me check double check if it's the correct one i have here ol then ol then one two three it's this one yes i got the value back So I will continue measuring the rest of the connector. This is higher value, but I'll keep it in mind now. A little higher, not that much higher. So maybe it's a broken filter. Let's let's double check on the XW which filter it is. Uh, it's a resistor. It's the first one. Uh, I'll keep it in mind. If later I uh, have a problem, I'll come for it. So this one, 380, 400, 380, 370 ground, that's fine. Then here, the rest of the connector will be two similar resistance values, then one ground. If I got different values between the two uh, pins, because this pins is connected to this coil. Uh, checking if you are seeing what I'm saying. Yeah. If these two pins have different values, I will remove these coils and I'll do jumper same what he did here. So here 400 and here 400, then one ground, then again 400. 400 no this is different this is different so this coil need to be changed then one ground then 300 and then ol so why why you are ol you should be connected to here and from here to here then something here cutting the line and this is going directly to the CPU. What I can do is to remove the pin and check if the, 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 the cut from the trace or from the CPU. If it's from the trace, I can make a new trace or repair the trace itself. Or maybe it's from the solder itself let's check no value okay let's remove the trace and check the layer down i have a very small dot i can check the measurement on it and still no resistance hmm let's have a look on zxw maybe i can find 
uh, alternative trace because you know that XW now uh, show you the lines uh, in the board, the traces uh, on the board. Let me activate the layers. And here is our trace is in layer number five. And I'm sorry, I cannot reach layer number five. Like this, it's one dot, one pad under the CPU. Maybe the CPU itself, uh, because of a drop or something, uh, has been a little bit lifted. The, the phone is working fine, by the way. So this trace or this bed is responsible about MIBI data line for the display, for the screen. And only this bed is disconnected from the CPU. So there is no, no components on Sears can disconnect this line. It's directly from the coil to the CPU. So the only repair uh, can help with this case is to remove the CPU and reball it and then put it back again. And before you do this, you have to check from the coil to the bed under the CPU the trace is working or no. Otherwise, you have to make a jumper from under the CPU to the coil or to the uh, connector directly. I cannot do this repair without asking a uh, customer permission. I got the customer permission. Let's repair the CPU.
to check the connection between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, B8. From here to the coil. If I put the two props together, you can see zero uh, millivolt uh, voltage dro uh, drop, which mean the two props connected together. And let's uh, put it on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then here, and I keep my hand steady, and then put the other one here. If you see uh, zero, that's mean the two points are connected. But right now you see open line or overloaded or OL, which means the two pads are not connected together, which means there is a cut uh, in the trace inside the board. I have two options to make a jumper, long, very long jumper from under the CPU to the coil, which I... I don't like to do that. I, I don't like to run a jumper like this. And maybe it will work. Maybe have uh, another uh, cutted traces on the board. I didn't see yet. I'm not uh, willing to do that. The second option is to uh, change the board itself. To take out the CPU, which I've been already taken. Uh, and take the baseband and take uh, the NAND chip and Wi-Fi chip and APROM and move it to another iCloud board which is called uh, board swapping. Uh, unfortunately right now I don't have a uh, iCloud board uh, and the cost will be more, will be higher so I have to contact the customer again and tell him uh, the bad news that the the board his board is broken already and i will ask him to wait till i find another board if he agree i will make another video so till then my work here is done and i will see you next one